Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody, and Alan Paul here with your Weekend Anomaly mission starting October 18th through the 20th. Had to actually do the math in my head there for a second. Sorry about that. All right, so we got an exciting weekend ahead. It's not just the Anomaly mission that we're talking about today. We are talking about a few other things. So as I take off from here and pull in the Anomaly, let's get chatting away because you know exactly what's going on and what the story is right now. The big news regarding the emoji that Sean Murray has uh, dropped on us in the last 24 hours. So uh, there's been some speculation. If any of you have read my posts, I have posted about this. First things first, you already know the emoji is the angry face with the uh, what looks like cuss words uh, ac across the mouth, the tape, you know, the, the cussing and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> indicating we don't know what yet, of course. But the big thing is, is that just a little while later, he posted it three times in a row. So that means this is a big update. Then he reposted it yet again, both of them, indicating that this is even bigger than we thought. This could be what we term a GIB update, yeah, in other words, big backwards GIB update, indicating this is going to be a huge update for No Man's Sky. That's what we think is going on here. Now, some people think of the cussing as being, you know, uh, uh, sailor mouth and things like that. Um, I am not leaning more towards that. Yes, there's probably going to be some more water updates. Yes, there's probably going to be some other updates. We've been talking about some purple worlds that are out there, a fifth if you will, um, uh, the species. That's the word I'm looking for. So we got the, well, fourth, if you will, not including travelers, it would be a fifth if you wanted to include the travelers in it. But a, a another species possibly from the void, possibly they are the cursed. Is that possibly what we're looking at here? Uh, so could we be looking at a huge update in regards to that? And that's the big question. That's my belief on this. Again, it's speculation. I have no way of knowing. I don't know the mind of Sean. And everybody says there won't be another expedition because we've already had four. But again, Sean does things that we don't expect. Nobody can predict what he's thinking. So guess what? I think there's going to be another expedition. So, so there. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the expedition. Uh, pardon me, the Anomaly mission here at the Nexus. So let's see what we got in store for us. Rescuing a Stranded Life Form. Okay, it looks like my rewards are going to be the 1800 Quicksilver, of course, and a War Piper Core, which is always very handy for those of you who are starting out new. It recharges your hyperdrive completely. Even if it's at zero, it recharges it completely. One of them is all that's needed. <clears throat> and we're also getting about 400,000 units, so that's kind of a nice... Uh, bonus if you will that'll be great so let's head back to our starship as we get our intro there it is an old distress jump back on our starboard runner and let's see where we're headed so again that's my thought process on this i think that's where we're going with the uh, update um it looks like the internal servers got updated as well today so they're probably uh, testing it on the internal servers i haven't yet checked the uh, the database to see if maybe they have updated anything else. So, going to check that literally right now. There we go, the depot, if you will. And it says that... Yep, internal was updated two days ago, experimental 25 days ago, and our public servers were updated even longer ago than that. So that's where we stand with that right at this moment that this is being recorded at. All right, so here we go. So we've got an interesting thing. We're going to find the approximate location of the stranded life form. A couple ways we can do that. My gosh, is it literally sending me at an archive? Sure enough, look at that. So it's going to be a little bit hard to find, but we want to look for a broken down ship. That might be it right there, actually. Best way to do is look on your radar and look for an, a stationary square dot, which might be that one, but it's kind of hard to see. Let me pull back out again. I think this is it. Yeah, it looks like it is. Let's bring it in for a landing. Yep. Yep, that's it. Sometimes the graphics mess up and you can't quite see through anything, so... 
Our stranded life form, as you notice at this point, is a traveler. But will he be a traveler when we return? Let's find out. Here we go. I hear a sharp intake of breath from the traveler. They begin to reach towards, towards me, then pause, as though thinking better of it. In despair, traveler, we don't get a full name here, uh, shows me their ship's shattered communication, communicator control unit. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. So we're going to leave. Now, the way these particular missions run is it uses set salvage a working component. To do so, you're going to use your uh, scanner. We've got to give it a few seconds for it to catch up. There we go. And it's going to look for items that are basically berry technologies. That's what we're looking for. The first one it finds is always going to be the one that's right here. And we're going to have to dig it up. So we're going to switch over to our terrain manipulator. And dig it up. Now, you can see it's a hot planet. So be prepared, make sure you have the right uh, protection to protect you against the heat on the planet. That would be one of these guys here. This one just gives me a little bit extra heat resistant, but this is the shield that I'm using, my thermal barrier. Okay, back down to it. As we pick this up, it's going to tell us whether it's the right thing or not. And it tells us it's an encrypted communication, communicator control unit, but the only way to know is by going into our inventory and hitting the E button. It'll analyze it. And if it works, it'll tell us that it found a... Yep, see? It would tell us that the terminal would be located, but this one is not. So, we're going to have to look for another one. Now, what happens to the item that you're, it's in your inventory? It's gone. So, we have to find another one. So, that is what could happen. You may find one here, one there type situation. Okay, it's really wanting me to find it. I don't know. Oh, you know what it's doing? It's doing the same thing again that it did with the ancient bone. So please be careful. If you try to go after the one that is right there, it will think it will glitch out the system. It'll glitch out your game. So please be careful. Don't just uh, pick that one. Look for another one that's close by. Buried technology is what you're looking for. So the closest one I have right here is this one at 274. So I'm going to go after that one right now. I could fly to it, but, you know, when you're talking 300 units away, it's really not that far, folks. Just use your jetpack. Now, if you don't have the protection you need to do this, yes, taking your ship will help greatly, but be prepared to spend a lot of launch fuel. Okay, here we're going to dig this one up. Same process. Rare item. Same process, right? Go into your inventory and hit the E button. And I'm using Steam. So, keyboard, mouse, terminal out located. So we're going to keep going through this again, over and over. <laughs> All right, so we got to find another one. Now, if you want to, you can check out these units and see if you can find stuff in it. I'm not going to worry about it. We've got one at 244. Let's see, it's going to take you to the same one again, so I'm not going to bother. All right, so I'm going to go to the one at 244. Hey, look, deuterium. Let's use them to get to where we're going a little quicker, shall we? So this is the first time I've done this where I was recording and I had to actually go to more than one spot. Okay, one more time. I seem to have fishing bait on me. Let's hope we find something this time. Hey, decryption terminal located. So we got the right one. Took us three tries, but we got it. Okay. Now, the thing about the salvage component, we got to head there next. Let's head back to our ship. Obviously, we're going to fly there. I'm not going to jetpack for 12 minutes, even if there was a storm going on. Hey, let's grab some sodium while we're here. Good deal. And there we go. Okay. Off we go to the spot it tells us to go to. Which should take us a lot quicker amount of time to get there. There we go. Now this is an exact location. Now what may happen, you may get into a sentinel battle here, because sometimes they don't want you to decrypt it. See, it's actually telling you corrupted sentinels may try to reclaim the salvage part. So, be prepared for it. 
If we go in here, it may tell us. Terminal status lock, sentinel activity detected. So we have to leave, and we have to take these guys out. You notice they're not just attacking you on sight, so you're just going to have to take them out, folks. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, this particular weapon, I have it set on neutron cannon, so it should be pretty easy work. Whoa, they'll hold still, right? One more. Corrupted. Here we go. Corrupted uh, drones defeated. We're all set. Terminal status active. Please present compatible device. So we present the unit. It's pairing. Key downloaded, syncing. Device decrypted. We're done. So now we have the communication control unit back. We're going to take our ship and go back to our stranded fellow. Should be back this way. There we go. And that will complete our mission. Now, as you, as it seems to happen, like I said, it was a traveler, if you remember correctly, right? So two things are going to happen here. Number one, I bet you anything, it's not a traveler anymore. But I tell you, we have a Viking here instead. Isn't that neat? Completely different name as well. And it says we visited him already. Isn't that interesting? So the Viking growls softly, drawing themselves up. The circumstances of their recent crash have made them distrustful. But alone out here, their choices are limited. So we're going to give them the, the part. And the second thing you're going to notice, he just waves at you and, and, and leaves. And there he goes. He's gone. Yep. Ungrateful cur. He just waved at me. That's it. You can give me a few nanites or some credits. Jerk. Anyway, let's go ahead and leave. So that completes our mission. So same process here, folks. We're going to pull back in the anomaly. as it tells us to do, and gather our reward. And if you want to head back to the system you were just at, you just have to leave the anomaly again. I do suggest that you jump in and out of your ship at least one time after you've turned in the mission. That way you get a save point. Oh yeah, furthest parking space. Guess I haven't sent enough credits to uh, Sean Murray yet to get that prime parking space. All right, here we go. We'll turn it in. There we go, complete the mission. And we got everything we need. Congratulations. Now, what we're going to do here real quick, I'm going to check Quicksilver just for a moment. Okay. And you remember last time we did this. This is just a week ago. Only level one. It wasn't even completed yet. We had three different levels, right? We hadn't even completed level one. It was like 76%, if I remember correctly. Let's check where we are now. Why, look, it's ready to go, and we're in Tier 2 at 10%. What makes me think that by the end of the weekend, Tier 2 will be complete, and Tier 3 will be on its merry little way? So what does that mean? What does that mean? That means that we have a new update coming soon. So like we started at the beginning of the, of the episode, we told you that there would be a new update coming out. It's probably going to be this coming Wednesday this coming Wednesday. So that would be the 23rd. We'll probably see it. Now, um, that coming Wednesday, it happens to be my two-year anniversary, but we're going to be doing our anniversary mission. You see, I jumped in and out to get a save point. I'm going to go back to my base now. Uh, it will be my two-year anniversary, but we're going to be doing that this coming Saturday instead on the 19th. So tomorrow uh, is at the time of this viewing of this video. You may be getting it too late, but on Saturday the 19th at 4.30 p.m., we should be starting our anniversary playthrough. Uh, basically, we're going to be doing a um, no starter ship challenge. It is not going to be permadeath for the main purposes that my channel members, some of my channel members are going to be joining us, uh, joining me in doing a battle to see who can get to the, get a ship and get off the planet first. Whoever makes it to the space station first wins. And by all means, jump on. We're going to be on Discord as well, and you can make fun of us through the chat as much as you would like, to your heart's content. Something happened. I think my game just locked up. Yes, it did. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You've, we found a new way to lock up No Man's Sky. Let me see. Yeah, I think so. I think we just locked up. 
Well, what a way to end the end the episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for watching. Normally, I jump out of my ship and wave at you, but try to join us tomorrow, and hopefully, these things won't happen then. And we will see you guys in the next episode, uh, or we'll see you Saturday night. I want to thank you again for watching, and we'll see you then. Thank you very much, folks. Take care. Hit that like button and subscribe if you like what you've been seeing. Appreciate it, folks. Take care.